All right, let's talk game audio. Hi, it's Chris from Engine Audio. And are you interested in how music and sound effects work in tools like a game engine or audio middleware? Then you might be interested in a new project that I've been working on that integrates a copy of the 3D game kit available from the Unity Asset Store with the WISE Audio Middleware Toolkit. So let's take a look to see what we need to get started. First, you'll need a copy of the Unity Game Engine, which you can download from unity.com. All right, the first thing you're gonna to need to do is download the Unity Hub. Once the Unity Hub has been installed, you're gonna go ahead and install the latest version of the Unity Game Engine. Once the Unity Game Engine is installed, you'll go to the Projects tab and create a new Unity project. Make sure the 3D template is selected and name the project something like 3D Game Kit Wise and save it in your favorite folder. Once your Unity project is opened, you can now search the Asset Store for the 3D Game Kit. Once the project is opened, you can yet navigate to the Unity Asset Store by going to Window and Asset Store. Then search for the 3D Game Kit. Once you find the 3D Game Kit, you can download and import it by using the same button on the right. Watch out, this might take a while. It's over a four gig download. You can press OK on any pop-ups that appear. The Import Unity Package window will show up with all of the elements checked for the 3D Game Kit. You can go ahead and press Import, and this will replace all of the assets in your blank project with the 3D Game Kit. Once the 3D Game Kit has completely imported, you might notice some errors in the console. You can fix this by going to Window and Package Manager and installing or updating Sign Machine and Post Processing. After that, all of the errors should disappear. We can now check out our first level from the 3D Game Kit. You can find it by navigating to Assets, 3D Game Kit, Scenes, Gameplay, and double click on the Level 1 Scene. Once this is opened, you can test it out by pressing the play button at the top of the Unity game engine. At this point, you should be able to test and play out the game. So take some time to test out how everything works. Now that you've tested out the 3D game kit, we'll go ahead and close Unity and we'll start the integration of WISE. To start out, we're going to open up the 3D game kit WISE Unity project folder and then unzip the contents of the 3D Game Kit Wise underscore Wise Project zip file into the Unity folder. This will add the 3D Game Kit Wise Wise Project. Now we'll need a copy of Wise, which you can get from the Wise Launcher, which you download from www.audiokinetic.com. Now that the Wise Launcher is installed, you can go to the Wise tab and make sure the latest version of Wise is selected, then press Install. When you get to the WISE install screen, all that needs to be checked at this time is the authoring tool. You can go ahead and press next. Then a plugins page will pop up. We don't need any plugins for this particular project, so you can go ahead and uncheck them all. And when you're done, press install down below. Now that WISE is installed, you can go to the Unity tab and you should see your 3D game kit WISE Unity project there. Go ahead and press integrate WISE into project and it will bring you to the integration screen. At this point, not all of the packages and platforms are installed for WISE, so you're going to need to modify your WISE install. Press Modify WISE and it'll bring you back to the WISE install screen. Everything here that's needed for the 3D Game Kit project is going to be checked already and automatically, so all you need to press is Next. It will take you back to the plugins page. We still don't need any plugins, so you can leave them all unchecked and press the Modify button. This will take a little while to complete, but once it's done, you can press the Add Wise to 3D Game Kit Wise button. This will take you back to the 3D Game Kit Wise integration page, and now we need to set the Wise project path. Click the down arrow and go to Browse, and then navigate your hard drive to the 3D Game Kit Wise Unity project and into the 3D Game Kit Wise underscore Wise project folder. There you will find the Wise project that we need to select. Once that's all done, you can press the integrate button to complete the integration of WISE into the 3D Game Kit WISE project. This may take a little while to install everything else we need for WISE and integrate into the 3D Game Kit. Once the integration is complete, you'll be back in the Unity tab and you can go ahead and launch WISE. Once WISE is opened, it'll bring up a message telling you that you need to update the project. This is fine. Go ahead and press yes. Once the WISE session is open, you can go to Layouts and Sound Bank. 
and make sure the SoundBank underscore 3D game kit SoundBank is selected along with your chosen platform and language. Then all you need to do is generate selected. Once the SoundBank has generated, you can go ahead and close WISE. To complete the integration, we are going to unzip the contents of the 3D game kit WISE underscore assets zip file into the 3D game kit WISE Unity project folder. Make sure to replace all files when the window pops up. Over on a Mac, you cannot directly drag the Assets folder into your 3D Game Kit Wise Unity project, or else it will just keep all of the new files. Instead, we need to use a terminal command. Go to Terminal and use the Ditto command. Then we're going to drag in the 3D Game Kit Wise Assets folder into the terminal, and also the 3D Game Kit Wise Unity project into Terminal. This will add the directories we need. And once we press enter, it will copy all of the files from the 3D Game Kit Wise asset folder into our 3D Game Kit Wise project. At this point, the integration is complete. We can go back into the Wise launcher and press open in Unity to launch the 3D Game Kit Wise Unity project. Once we get everything set up, we can run the 3D Game Kit and Wise together at the same time and profile all of the audio playing in the background. Back in Unity, we should now be able to press the play button again to hear all of our audio coming from WISE. Go back to WISE and you can remotely connect to the Unity game engine by pressing the remote connections button. At this point, you should find your computer in the remote connections list, double click it, go to the layouts menu and choose profiler and you can watch all of the sounds scroll by in the background. Go back to Unity, play the game for a bit, and watch the profiler change inside WISE. Well, I hope you enjoyed the overview of this type of project. There's a lot more to come now that everything is set up. I have ideas for future videos, but if there's any topics you would like me to cover, please comment down below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And as always, if you need a custom audio solution for your game, Engine Audio would be glad to help. You can message us at info at engineaudio.com or find us on Twitter at engineaudio. Thanks for checking out the video, and we'll see you again next time.